and I'm Tim Pasley, and this is To Design Do Us Part. Not long ago, a basketball star met a biochemistry buff. We fell in love and, you guessed it, got married. It was our first fixer-upper that revealed our love for design and our different way of doing things. The honeymoon was definitely over, but love prevailed. After the job was complete, we realized we made a pretty great team. And now, we're here to help you redo your space. Together, we'll conquer the world room by room. That is, till design do us part. We're here today to give you some advice about the marriage bed. Not that kind of advice. We're going to show you how to really connect with your spouse by creating a headboard that is both rustic and glamorous in just one weekend. Our goal today is not to give you a lesson in fine craftsmanship. We've picked out a simple project that you and your partner can complete in a weekend using tools you probably already own and materials you can find at any local hardware store. And remember, DIY projects are a lot like the marriage bed. It's not about what tools you have, but what you do with those tools. Today, I'll be using a paintbrush, finishing product, tape measure, drill, and a jigsaw. You'll also need some 1x8 pines and a scrap of cardboard. Now we're creating a king size headboard, so I have 11 1x8s here. Choose the number of boards that you need based on your bed size. To create the shape that we want on our headboard, I'm using a template. The template will ensure that each side of the headboard is perfectly symmetrical. Let's go over here and I'll show you how to do that. To create your template, you'll need a large piece of cardboard. Now you can go with any shape that you like, but remember, you'll have to draw it, so keeping it simple may not be a bad idea. The piece of cardboard I have here is half the size of my bed. And as you can see, I've already drawn the shape that I want. Next, I'll simply use my razor blade to cut it out. Okay, so we have our template cut out here, as you can see. And we've also marked a center line just to make sure that we are perfectly even here and everything turns out as planned. So I'm going to hold it while Tim traces it. Securely to make sure that your template doesn't move and mess up your symmetry. Remember, this is all about teamwork, so affirmation is a good thing during this. You're doing a great job. We're <laughs> really good at holding cardboard. All right, once we finish that up, we want to flip it and we want to make sure it lines up because we want to make an exact mirror image to make sure everything stays perfectly symmetrical. Okay, so as 
you can see behind me, Tim has put the liquid nails on the boards and he is about to screw them in. Um, we are making sure to use inch and a quarter screws. This is because when he screws through the board, it's not going to come through on the front side and leave us with a surprise, a surprise that we did not want. So after this board is put in place, all that's left to do is stain it. We are now to the finishing stages of this project. And depending on how much of a know-it-all, your spouses will determine just how distressed that this piece looks in the end. I've gathered a number of precision tools to help me create a bunch of dents and gouges to really rough this piece up. So let's let out some frustration, shall we? Okay, now that you're back in your happy place, it's time to start staining. The first thing you'll need to do is take a damp rag and wipe off any dust or debris that's collected. Now I'm using a product that is a stain and polyurethane in one. Um, you can also do a stain and then a polyurethane, which is a sealing product, afterwards. Okay, here's a tip for you. You never want to shake stain or polyurethane. You always want to stir it, so remember that. When you apply poly, you want to make long sweeping strokes going in the direction of the grain of the wood. So the wood's grain goes this way. I'll never want to put the poly on this way. Our headboard is now ready to hang, so you'll be able to see what it looks like in just a few minutes. confidence to try it yourself. And if you do, send us some pictures. And we'll see you next time here on Till Design Do Us Part.